you all to please close your eyes and imagine being in a dark suffocating box. No light, no sound, except that of your own heartbeat. Now imagine being stuck in that box forever. Well, that has been my story, growing up to the constant screams, tears, and pains of the woman who I love, always beating half to death. This left me so scared and bitter. Oh, and angry, angry at the situation, angry because I was helpless, angry because she allowed and tolerated that, and angry at the society for not being loud enough against that. The once beautiful face, which gave me so much hope, now looking like a bloated chicken, scared the wit out of me. And anytime I closed my eyes, all I could see was that painful, dismantled face, covered with bruises and tears. That was all I could see and hear, non-stop, as if someone had a remote control and kept those things on replay. I asked mommy, mommy, why don't you leave? And she said, I am doing this for you. You will not understand, so you could have a better life. But tell me, how better can my life be? If all that I see and hear is something that compels me to hide in the dark, Dear mothers, women, and ladies, I need you to know that no man has the right to hit you or mentally abuse you. It is not normal, and society should stop painting that picture. Do not say you are staying because of your children, because if you do not take care, you will end up leaving those children behind due to death. Take your life and future into your own hands because you are loved, valued, and an asset to this world. So speak up now, and together, let us break the shackles of spousal abuse. We need to stop this violence and allow love rule because it is needed. Thank you. approval to be a punching bag. Where did all the love and humanity go? Seeing and hearing stories of spousal abuse, I said to myself that I refuse to be a victim of any kind because it is something that leaves inevitable scars in the minds and the hearts of the victim, not forgetting the children who grow up with the fear and mental trauma. Auntie says, I have to stay for my children. What the society say when I leave? Will my religion support and understand me? But I say to you that if you do not run for your life, you will end up leaving these children behind, and the society and religion which you are worried about will only say sorry at your grave. We have lost so many precious people because they were either too afraid to speak up or too reluctant to leave the marriage. But enough is enough. Ma, men kadaret na wo osan womba ebusiya ana asorinti sabri bidam rokoda buwa nu naka osan desanka obibia ringu. As Miss Grand Ghana 2022, standing here today. As a flame of peace, I serve to serve as a mouthpiece to preach the Stop the War and Violence campaign within our homes. I need you to know that you are not alone, and together we shall fight this. Thank you, Merase. Kapunka, Karimakasi.
Miss Grand Upper East Region. Will be asked a question by Natalie Ford. Olivia, you take this one. Miss Grand Central. Why should you be the one to represent Ghana at Miss Grand International? I believe that being a Miss Grand International is both a responsibility and an honor. And I believe that having this platform will help me not just only to earn my advocacy, but it will help me to contribute positively to this organization. Because I believe that I have a purpose in life, and this platform would help me to be able to achieve that. With my background in public relations and brands and communications management, I know that organizations seek someone who would be a better representation. And I believe that I am a communicator and somebody who can better represent the brand. Thank you. My question for you is, if you had to pick one between money, influence, or fame, which would it be and why? I believe this is a very tough question, but I would answer. Money, influence, and fame. What is influence? Influence is when you are able to make an impact when you're able to move something with your position and your voice and the power you have. So for me, I believe that influence is the most important because when you have influence, you would have fame and you would have money. To the Freedom Crown and to help us crown Miss Grand Ghana 2022. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you are enjoying the show. This is the Freedom Crown. It was modeled after the Freedom and Justice Crest. The eagles on the side protect the Black Star, and the Black Star represents the freedom we have fought for. The girl that wears this crown tonight has a major responsibility. She has the responsibility of sending Ghana on the map in terms of pageantry. Good luck, ladies.
I love you both. Much. How beautiful is that crown? How beautiful is that crown? And who wears the crown tonight? Who wins Miss Don Grand Ghana 2022? Ladies and gentlemen, the winner. Grand Ghana 2022 is Miss Grand Sergio Region. Congratulations, Miss Grand Central Region. You are Miss Grand. 2022! Miss Grand Ghana! 2022! It's Miss Grand Central Region! Congratulations to you! Ladies and gentlemen, our queen, Miss Grand Ghana, 2022, Miss Grand Central Region. She takes her final walk now, ladies and gentlemen, Miss Grand Ghana. 2022 We have a special ceremony for her Right after this It's a short ceremony ladies and gentlemen For Miss Grand Ghana 2022 As she prepares To take the international stage We have a